That dx, right? What's it telling us? Um, it's telling us, like most practically, it's telling us, hey, which pronumeral should you be looking out for and thinking about as the thing you're integrating about, right? So for example, um, let's just do this up on the side. I could give you something like um, the integral of a squared dA, right? Mm -hmm. Which tells you, hey, pay attention to the a. The a is the variable that you need to be looking at. Um, you would want to increase the power divide. So you would get something like a cubed on three plus my constant, mm -hmm. right? Now, what if you saw something like the integral of a x? Now, if you don't have any other information, you're like, uh, is it the a that's going to increase in power and divide, or is it the x, right? So that's why you need extra information to actually tell you that, which is what this um, dx and the dx and the da are telling you, okay? So for instance, I might say, actually, it's the x. It's the x I want you to pay attention to. In which case, we just treat the a as if it were like 5 or 3, right? Okay. dx over 1. Yeah, yeah. So when you're having a look at this, you're like, oh, we used to put that dx we used to put it over over here, right? <laughs> right. right? Um, but in some senses, it doesn't matter too much where it is if you're like if it's somewhere as part of the the integral. But mainly, it's telling us integrate with respect to x. Pay attention to the x. Enough, okay. Yeah. All right. So. We got tired, so it's not that <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I just want to hang out there with the twelve man. That's where all the action is really happening. So I'll, I'll leave the other example up above if that helps you. What's your instinct to to do first? What do you think? So pattern recognition, first one, mm -hmm. 12 over 3x, I see a division possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, I'm looking for this and this. I expect there's going to be some cancelling of some kind. Okay, right. so that's good to think about. So it's 3x three, three plus 1 is what I... What I What's 3x plus 1? The denominator. This denominator down here? So you're suggesting minus that we... Minus 3x plus 1. Oh, okay. So you're saying if I put a minus sign out, the f is you're trying to factorize? No. My oh, oh, you're rearranging it, yeah, like so. Sorry. Yeah? I forgot the word, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it you've... Um, easier to think about it. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, so if we... Um, in fact, I'll even write that as my next line. So I've still got that 12 hanging out the top there. And then what you've done is you've put that... The X term, yep. you've put it out the front, which I'm okay with. Yep. Like, it's like, that's the more important thing than plus one anyway. So, so far, so good. Um, what can I do with that? Well, what you can do with that is... Because at the top, all we want is a negative 3. Yes. So what divided by... Wait, hold on, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Let me just jot that down before you lose that thought, right? I want a negative 3. It's 12 times... Hold on, should I... Do you think it... it which one's more optimal? To leave the negative inside or to leave it... No, to leave it inside because then I won't have a negative log. Hmm. You're asking the right question. The negatives right? cancel? Yeah, what do we do with these negatives, right? So before we come to negative logs and negatives canceling and all that kind of thing, let's um let's take a step back and remember, like you said, pattern recognition before, right. right? Which I think is exactly the right thing. What we're searching for is this f dash and f. It's negative right? four. Right? F dash and f. Now, in order to get the f dash that we want, which you already told me is negative three, there's not a negative three there. I have to multiply it by negative four, right? right? Like you just suggested. Negative 4 times negative 3, um, this itself is equivalent to the 12 that I started off with. Right. Is that okay? So that's the numerator, um, which leaves me with this on the denominator. And um, I'm going to kick this dx out over the side because I've run out of space on my numerator. <laughs> How does this help us? Uh, well, if I remove the negative 4 out, mm -hmm. uh, take it out of the integral, mm -hmm. and then I have negative 3 on negative x plus 1. You have negative 3x plus 1? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you have the log, but is it a negative log or is it a positive log? Mm, okay, so good questions, right? So the first thing is, um, let's just uh, how do you how do you eat an elephant? Answer one bite at a time. Right. Let's just look at this slowly from the beginning. You got that negative four there. Yeah. You wisely factorize that out. So you're like, okay, well it's it's just hanging out the front there. From your okay. Left Very good. So follow the pattern, and then you're like, oh, this thing here that we've got left is that's the f dash to match with this f. Yes? Yes. Yes, it is. Because the derivative of minus 3x plus 1 yes. is minus 3. Thumbs up, okay? So what that tells us is Double what we end up with is the log that like you were saying, right? So it's the log of this thing that you've got in here. 
right? right? Now you asked the question before, um, is this a negative log? Like what's going on here, right? Um, we're not supposed to be able to put negative numbers inside logs. Because right. if, you if you had your calculator and you were like, hey, what's log of negative one? Um, it would just say and error, imaginary right? Numbers. Unless you, unless you start roaming into other kinds of numbers, right? Now, the reason why this is okay and this doesn't cause any problems is because um, this thing in here, um, we actually can, number one, change the value of x so that what you end up with is positive. That's the first thing you could do. So, for example, if x was, say, um, zero, mm -hmm. if x was zero, you would get, what would you get in here? Um, What's log zero? You would get well. In fact, I'm having trouble drawing myself a brace. There we go. Uh, you would get you would get zero plus one, right? If I if I let x equal zero, one, yeah. so you get log of one, and that's that's fine. You know, you can you can do log of um, any positive number. That's okay, right? But even in the case where x is um, even in the case where you do get something negative in here, you're okay because of those absolute value signs. Right. Okay, the absolute value, value signs kind of save you, yeah. and I'll show you why. Um, if we were to take um, the original question, 12 on 1 minus 3x, mm -hmm. right? Do you remember um, one of the main reasons why we care about integration is because it helps us work out areas, right. right? So if I want to work out an area under a curve, I start to integrate, yep. okay? Now, if you have a look at this curve that they've given us, here it is. It actually does look remarkably like that sort of, you know, um, classic hyperbola. It's been moved around a little bit, but not much. Yeah, it's got asymptotes, all that kind of thing, right? If you have a look at this guy, right? If I were trying to work out the area under the curve, suppose I was, I'm just going to give this guy a name. Let's call it f of x. Um, f of x equals, okay? I might say, want to work out, hey, um, can you tell me the area... I'm going to pick out a, a spot here. Um, I want to know what this shape looks like. F of x. Sorry, just bear with me while I put this area in. In this particular domain, let's pick values like, say, from 1 to 5. Okay. Now, I'm just going to shift this over because I actually want it above because it's to the, yeah, just bear with me, fixing things up. There we go. That's the area I want. Okay. Now, if I wanted to evaluate this area, okay, um, what would the definite integral look like? Um, I've given you some. You have one no, to 12, five at the bottom. Yeah, one to five, right? So you're like, oh, I would form a definite integral that would look like this from one at the bottom, five at the top, from oh. one to five. Yep, start at the bottom, go to the top. That's okay. I knew what you meant. Um, and then I would integrate this thing, right? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. If you put in values, like say x equals 1, mm -hmm. into the answer, because once you integrate, you're going to get this guy, right? You get negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. You've got a negative in there, right? You're like, whoa, that's bad. But the absolute value signs are there to indicate actually the original function you came from it exists even for these values where the log might look like it's negative. So we fix that by applying these absolute value signs. Okay? Cheating. Uh, sort of. Um, but it, it, the whole fact is that um, if we were to start with the log function, it only exists on one side. Mm. But because we started from uh, this guy over here, as you can see by this graph on the right-hand side, it yeah, it exists on both sides. So therefore, we apply the absolute values to make our integral also exist wherever the original function existed. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so um, you did pretty all right with that. I think it will help. I think it will help if you keep on, um, like this this operation you did here will sort of become second nature once you've done it a bunch of times. You're like, ah, oh, I know exactly what I want. F dash on F and then off you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's try something with a bit more meat on it and then you can tell me whether you feel comfortable with these quotient looking yep. integrals. Um, all right, so let's pick out something like, sorry, bear with me while I make a bit of a choice here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you're going to bring an E's, aren't you? Well, would you like to bring an E's? Sure. Okay, let's, let's go for it. So there's these E's in the middle here. So let's, let's have a go at 7. Well, we're kind seven of with E's because they're a bit easier. Um, in some ways, yes. I mean, they look more complicated, but you're right. They're like 
I like integrating and differentiating E's because they're, they're simple, right? Well, yeah, let's, well I, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, um, we'll push on it a little bit because like you said, if you just have E to the X, it's derivative is just E to the X, which makes things very, very simple. Yep. But you can change these exponentials in, in very small ways that make them more complicated. So let's have a go at 7H. Can we try that one? 7H, you can see um, we want to integrate the expression. That's what the question says right there, integrate the expression. Okay, so I'm going to write an integral sign here, and then h is e to the minus x on. Oh wow, that's sneaky. Okay. I didn't even notice that, okay. That is, it is sneaky, right? So there's the question. Now, how do we, how do we have a go at this? Now, just like the earlier questions, right? I want this f dash on f business. f dash on f. That's what I'm working toward, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is the integral no. In that form yet? And the answer is no. Okay, because if this is f, let's actually just on the side here, let's write this, right? Um, if. It'd be negative e to the power of negative Yeah, three. very good. So if f of x is equal to this 1 plus e to the minus x on the denominator, mm -hmm. then f dash, like you said, that we're actually using chain rule here. So you're you're differentiating that, that power bring up there. You bring it to the outside. Yeah, you bring it to the outside. The yep, and then you go, oh e to the whatever just becomes e to the whatever, right? So there's a minus one outside the equation? Right, so I, I want a minus sign to be up there on the top. Um, up here, I want there to be a minus sign here, but there isn't. However, to compensate, I'll just put another minus sign out the front there. So long as I've got a pair of them. Another? Or yeah, one? yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's another one, right? So let me just rewind for a second, right? What I want is for this to be there. Okay. I want this minus sign. Okay, but you can't just write a minus sign just because it's more convenient to you in the same way that for this question up here, I can't just write minus three at the top here because it's convenient to me. I have to keep it the same as the original question. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, so, so that's why we, we, we factorized out this negative four. Okay, now in this case, if I want to have a minus sign here. You still have the E if you remove it. So. That's right, that's right. So this minus sign here is going to compensate for that. And you do it twice. I do it twice, which means I actually haven't changed it. Um, which is a bit like saying, do you remember when we were talking about uh, fractions and common denominators before? Mm -hmm. So the reason why common denominators work is because if I say, all right, I want it in terms of six. That's an awkward word to say. Because six will be a common denominator. I'll say three sixths plus two sixths. Mm -hmm. I should have chosen a different number. Anyway, so the reason this works is because this is the same as this. Right. It's just exactly, and the reason why this works is because the way I've written it. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just uh, do big like, negative and negative cancel out. So yeah, the negatives cancel, negative. right? So I'm just going to get rid of this guy here. So the reason this works is because it is in fact equal to the original question. Mm -hmm. So I haven't changed anything. I've just made it look different to suit my purposes. Okay, um, which it now does. So let's go ahead and actually do this now. Um, this minus sign that's hanging out the front here, um, I just write it down, because it's outside of the integration process, right? But now when I look on the inside, it's f dash on f. Yep. So what do I end up with when I integrate something like that? Uh, just look oh, back LN. to, yeah, um, log, log. You'd have negative ln uh, in brackets 1 plus e to the power of... What kind of brackets? Sorry, um, <laughs> not brackets, uh, absolute, absolute value. Absolute value, very good, yep. Uh, plus 1 plus e to the power of negative x. Yep. Close that, bracket. close that bracket. Plus e. Perfect. Flawless. That's it. So, really, in some ways, the hard part here is not the integration. It's the preparation pattern. for integrating. Yeah. It's like, I, I know a pattern I'm searching for, but doesn't look like that yet. So, I'm just going to, like, twist it a little bit until it fits the pattern I want, and then 